doesn't come from schooling or learning or anything. It just comes on comes on through your life experience. You, you know, all the people you met in your life, like the dopey teacher who, who would uh, keep telling you something and forgot he already told it to you 20 times. You know, so you get into that, um, you know, um, I think what you people have to learn is discipline and not to slam my door when you come in here. And then he would say the same thing like the next semester, um, what you people, you know, and then if you, if you did infract his rule, he'd call you over and say, um, what you people have to learn, you know, like I never heard it before. And, and like there will always be some sort of character that, that has some odd thing about them or whatever and you try something that you, you got a kick out of earlier in life or that you learned, hey man, there's this, this guy, he's so uptight, you know, and he doesn't, he doesn't want to have any fun, he doesn't want to even appear to be human, he wants to be this gakiron, you know, talking machine that just says stuff over and over and over, and that used to tune me out. I would zone out. I zoned out in school. I, I was really good, but then I noticed that other kids resent you if you're real smart and hate you, so I dumbed it down and just skated from there. I didn't want any trouble, and I didn't much care either because my goals were beyond what they were teaching me. And I wasn't sure what they were, but I knew it was gonna be something nutty. You know, and I said, this school is not gonna teach me anything that I think makes me excited or, or makes my mind go off and start sparking. But uh, I mean, everybody's got to go to school. I'm not saying don't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the minute I got out of school, I just grabbed my guitar. I didn't go to college. I grabbed a guitar and I was singing and I joined a band and I traveled all over the place and I was in a million little bands. And um, eventually, like back in those days, the uh, Guitars would snap strings constantly because you never changed them. They were old. I couldn't afford a new pair. And amps would blow up because they didn't have the circuitry quite down yet. And whenever that happened, I would go up and I, I, I'd be so embarrassed, so I would just start saying junk. Hmm. Just saying it. Like, well, what do you think of that? You know, and it was like, no one ever heard like a rock and roll guy just stand there and go, Boy, I feel like shit. <laughs> so what do we do? I mean, I get someone maybe fixing the amp, uh, and and I would start doing voices and stuff. And they like that better than they like the music a lot of the time. <laughs> you know, for real. And um, but you know, my I lost my spandex license in 1978, <laughs> and uh, I had to figure out something. So I started doing uh, stand-up comedy. It wasn't very good, but I could do voices, and that people would suddenly perk up, you know, and, uh, and I get into radio very early. Um, radio was a great place. I have a love-hate relationship with radio. I know how good it can be, and how sucky it is. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. Theater of the mind, there's nothing better. You know, like you could sit here and have your eyes closed, and you would get every little thing, every nuance, every meaning. And radio used to be great like that, and you know, then it just, uh, too many schmoes were running the business, and they had these myopic little playlists, and they ground everything down. They wouldn't let talented people pick their own playlist. We don't trust them. You know, and it's like, well, you know, all they gotta do is sell ads. As long as they do a good job with the commercials, what do you care, you know? And they got all uptight, and it became like any other business, and it turned me off. I said, you know what, I've had about enough of this. Um, because I was starting to get scolded and junk like that. And I was like, no. <laughs> I, just, I was bratty, you know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing.